Hello, welcome to C Sharp interview question and answer video series. In this video, I will be talking about delegate an event. This is continuation of previous video. In the previous video, we tried to understand what is delegate, what are different types of delegate, and how do we call delegate in different ways. We also tried to understand how do we call delegate name dot get invocation list. So next question with respect to multicast delegate is that in case of multicast delegate, if there is an exception in any of the method, will the next subscribe method be executed? Answer is no. As you can see, we have got one delegate model and model equal to display method and let you can click on this to create method skeleton this is display method so let me raise one exception here to a new exception some error occurred and let me subscribe another method to this model plus equal to show employees and and let me provide a body to this now let me invoke my delegate dot invoke Ideally, it should display this is display method and it should be throwing the exception. Let's run the application. You can see in the output, it executed this is display method, then it thrown the exception, some error occurred, and the next method in the queue, which is show employees, is not executed. So let me remove the exception part. So in case of multicast delegate, uh, you can assign it to null model equal to null so let me run this so in this case also it will be throwing the exception object reference not set to an instance so this is one of the flaw in delegate so this is the place where event comes into the picture an event declaration adds a layer of abstraction and protection on the delegate instance events can be included in an interface declaration you can call event as a wrapper of a delegate with two restrictions one is you cannot invoke event directly and you cannot assign any value to event directly so let me get rid of these quotes so let me create one class say custom event demo and here I'll just use public event and you need to make use of this delegate because event is a delegate wrapper say event raised and here let me just create one public method trigger event so we can say event triggered by user and if event raised is not it's not null then invoke this method okay and in the main method let me instantiate it c equal to new custom event and c dot event raised you can see and you can use plus equal to tap tap so this will be creating one method for you say event raised by user and and in this method i can simply use process completed by name and c dot we can call trigger event c dot trigger event and now let me run the application we can see event triggered by user and event completed by akhil so in the event you cannot assign c dot event raised equal to null as soon as i write this code i can see this compile time error thanks for watching this video have a nice day